Hi, I'm Adam Trashy. Welcome to the channel. This is the Holmes bag by Hazard 4. A massive thank you to the guys over at Thomas Jacks for sending out all of the Hazard 4 bags to me. If you are interested in other equipment from Hazard 4, you can click on the little white eye in the top right hand corner of this video and I'll make sure that all of the rest of the Hazard 4 videos are linked in there. Just as a quick disclaimer, this is not really a tactical orientated bag, although I do want to cover it um, and just hit on a few points as to where I feel that this is a very kind of unique bag that would fit in with the airsoft and milsim scene. Now, photography in airsoft has become more and more popular with guys covering airsoft and milsim in a variety of different ways. YouTube is a huge place for guys to be able to do gameplay videos, reviews and all that sort of thing and publicise it and photography is just the same. Um, I've been working very closely with a guy called Jordan, also known as uh, The Rejected Lens. You can see him on Instagram, you see him on Facebook if you are interested in his photography, make sure you head over to The Rejected Lens either on Instagram or Facebook. Um, we work quite closely together and the reason why I actually like working with Jordan is his attitude towards the photography in Airsoft and Milsim. It's very different from the traditional Airsoft photographer that you'll see in a high-vis jacket and they kind of waltz around, you know, they stumble across teams, they get, you know, the odd opportune photo or they are in a position where they know the firefight is going to be which is always kind of a giveaway for me that if I see them at a particular building or you know they're they're kind of scouting around the particular building I always know that that is going to be an objective at some point and they are there to take the opportune moment to get some pictures. Um, what Jordan actually does that is quite intriguing is he will roll out with a Milsim or Airsoft team at an event so he can be shot, he has to be medicked, he's in full kit, he's got a gun, he has to defend himself. The thing with Jordan is that you can be in an opportune uh, firefight, you know, you're, you're taking the opportunity, you're going to go and pounce on a team where you would have thought that he would want to defend himself and the key thing about him is he gets into a safe position, he's taking photos of all of us guys during the firefight. To him, he feels that that gives him a more realistic picture, it gives the photographs and the imagery more kind of depth. Um, and he really enjoys that, you know, a lot of the photos that he's working on now are, you know, they're during an event. We've done a lot of stage stuff before, but this is really where he sees the direction of his photography going. So now that I've kind of spoke you through that, you might see where this bag really comes into light. It's available in black and in coyote tan. It's got some nice hard pockets either side, you know, these traditional uh, hazard four really solid hard pockets. If you're going to have any electrical equipment in there, um, then you know that it's going to be safe. The messenger style means that you don't have to completely take the bag off of your shoulders to be able to access it. You can literally just pull it round and it's all accessible from your front. That's really handy. Nice, big, quality, solid handles on here, solid zippers, solid grips and clasps. Everything about this really does scream quality. Um, looking at the big pocket on the front, we've got the traditional ones either side. Lockable zippers, really important if you're going to have a load of expensive camera equipment in here. Pulling this down, nice lined pocket. Really like to see this. As you can see, nice quality material inside with the Hazard 4 embossed logo on there. Hopefully you can see that okay. Nice of uh, space for accessories. Got a loop in here for keys. Nice big front pocket on the front. Uh, lots of space there for you to put all of your little kind of tip bits, batteries, uh, tools or anything like that. Again, hard pocket either side. What I'm going to do is open up this large front main compartment of the bag. As you can see, really, really nice quality, fully lined, nice sort of felt around the outside. Also, you know, doubles up for the soft side of Velcro. And then we've got the divider in here as well. So if you know you do want to divide up this bag, you want to make sure that your camera equipment fits in here okay, then you could do that. Um, and you could use that as a divider. Nice big hazard four pocket on the front of the front flap. Again, really nice solid area that if you are going to put a large DSLR in here and other accessories, you can use these dividers. You can also buy like the little Velcro camera pods as well that you can put in your bag that would fit in here. Absolutely perfect. So something like this for someone who's carrying electronics out on the field is going to work really well. The nice thing about it as well, I'm just going to show you this is a bit of a hidden sort of pocket is that you have got space in here for a laptop or for an iPad. Fully lined, really nice material in there. I hope you can see that kind of padded, really soft material. So if you have got a laptop, iPad or anything there, it's not going to get scratched. Uh, also, again, with the zippers, you've got the lockable capability on these as well. So you can hopefully just see those two loops at the top, stick a padlock through. Messenger capability. So really nice for you to be able to put this bag on. It's very, very simple. Right over your head and your shoulders like so. Got this clasp on the side here. I'm just going to pull that round and that gives you a little bit more support. It holds the bag nice and taut. Probably need to adjust these straps a little bit to get this to fit a little bit better. But there you go. That's a, that's a much nicer fit. 
Cool thing about this again is that if you have got the bag accessible, you've got a big handle on the top of here. You can pull that over and you've got the bag accessible on your front. It means that you know don't have to potentially move you know the bag away from the body. If you do need to quickly grab something, you can do that here. And then again, it's as simple as throwing it over your shoulder, get that clasp back together, you know, and you're ready to move again. Nice solid shoulder strap, have got this lockable clasp on the bottom of here, so if you do want to get the bag off nice and easy, it does just fall away from the body again. You know, very, very easy. Nice padded back, as you see, really nice detailed design. Very, very hard. I have noticed this about all of the Hazard 4 bags. This padding on the back is actually very, very dense, and that is obviously to stop anything from inside the bag protruding and giving you any um, discomfort on your back. Nice aero mesh in here, so it's going to, you know, you've got your air vent flow areas, so it's just going to help wick away some of the sweat away from your body if it is a hot day. Good padded shoulder strap, a really, really solid bag. I do really like the stuff from Hazard 4. They do some really nice quality kit, again, available in a ton of colours. Bags like this are really handy. They do a huge variety of bags. I think that is another thing that I've noticed in doing my research on Hazard 4. The, qual the quantity of different bags that they do, you know, if one of the ones that I review don't quite suit you but you love the look of the brand, just go and check it out. They must have about 50 different types of bags on there. So it is absolutely phenomenal. Really nice brand. You know, solid quality. The American products are always really good. Although these are produced overseas, the American branding and just the Americans' attention to detail on this sort of equipment is really high. As you can see by all of the clasp stitching, uh, zips and that sort of thing. They're the things that normally fail on cheap bags, but the quality on this is outstanding. If you do want to check out some more products from Hazard 4, you can do that over on the Thomas Jacks website. If you are looking for a place to go and pick this bag up, I'll make sure that they are linked in the description below. Any comments, feedback, anything you want to say, anything you want to know about these bags, please make sure that you put a comment in the box below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. A like, subscription to the channel always means a lot to me. I really appreciate all the support that the channel gets. So hit that, scrub, that sub in the bottom right-hand corner of the video. It really, really does mean a lot. If you are already subscribed, stay tuned to the channel for a ton more reviews and videos coming soon. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all soon.